midday, the Bluegrass Roots Timpanogos Folk Festival is being held this Friday and Saturday in Orem. And one of the musical acts you'll see is this guy here, Grammy winner and founding member, a nitty gritty jerk fan, John McEwen. I didn't know I was going to be next to a legend today. Can I say, can I just name off some uh, uh, people? Jimmy Buffett, John Denver, Johnny Cash, Bill Crosby, just to name a few. Yeah, so nice to meet you. People, you played People a, that we've played with yes. over the years. Thank you so yeah. much. Bluegrass. And there were other people that were founding members in the Dirt Band. I wasn't the... I, well, we should basically say that, John. That's fine, because, but see, that one of the other guys playing with me tomorrow Who is, is the guy that called me when he was 17 years old and says, hey, the guys at the music store are getting together. You want to come play with us? And that's how it begins. And that's how it started in 1966 wow. with Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. It was just really weird. Look at this. The <clears> legacy And my dream have. was to play with Earl Scruggs someday, and there we are in the studio. And the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. The guy on the left is with me also. So that was from the Russia trip. That's what we look like. You just came like. back from there, right? And this is the group I take out with me now. The pictures are going by too fast today. I know, but we, you've got a lot of years we got to get through. Oh, no. So we, we got we got to get all of this in. And we're so happy that you're here. That's, and what, really, that's what my mother said. You're, that we're so happy you're here. We're so <laughs> glad you're here. And there's something about bluegrass. If you haven't heard it, appreciate it. There's nothing like it. Nothing like it. Well, I do a lot of <clears throat> we do a lot of bluegrass. Two of the guys playing with me were previous Dirt Band members. Like I said, Les is the one that was an original member, and John Cable went to Russia with us. And then there's Matt Cardsonis, who's a great bluegrass singer and player. Plays mandola and guitar. And when he starts singing, everybody starts listening. Real quick though, you've got a book out. You are so a book. big. It's right there. A Look book. at that. And uh, a cool documentary with is. Ken Burns? Are you kidding me? That's coming up. The History of Country Music. It's an eight-part miniseries. Uh, eight, eight sections of two hours each. I'm in about three of them. And one of the sections, episode six, is called Will the Circle Be Unbroken? Mm. Which is about an album that we had in... It's in the Library of Congress in the Grammy Hall of Fame. Huh, just in the and, Library uh, of Congress in Washington, D.C. Real quick, though, I want people to come see you and cool. your group and all the other <coughs> artists who are coming. Timpanogos Folk Festival coming up, yep. right? And you can get more information. It is happening very, very soon. And you can get all that information on abc4.com midday. It's going to be a really great event. Will you play us out? Let's go to John Henry. Kind of bluegrass, but it's on the guitar. We got a whole band. We got banjo, guitar, fiddle, mandolin, mandola, bass. Come on down and see the show. <laughs> 